Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts coils and a special kind of coil that is known as set coil. So let's start. Example 9. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. And if switch 2 is on, then motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So for this example, for switch 1 and switch 2, we will use normally open contacts. For motor 1 and motor 3, we will use a simple coil. But for motor 2 and motor 4, we will use set coil. Because after turning off switch 1, motor 2 still remains on. And after turning off switch 2, motor 4 still remains on. For that, we, we will use set coils for motor 2 and motor 4. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a lateral logic and do simulation also. So let's go. This is the interface of TI portal. Let's click here and then PLC1 and then I will go to PLC tax. Double click on it and then default tag table. So here we have to make a table for tags for switch 1, switch 2, motor 1, motor 2 and so on. So for inputs, I will add two switches that is switch 1 and then there is one more that is switch 2 and here comes switch 2. And then there are four motors. So Let's write motor 1, but this motor is uh, an output, so the address of motor 1 will be Q0.0. So the outputs, the address of the output starts with Q. And then there are motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 as well. So here it is, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4. So we have tagged these uh, outputs with the pins. So let's minimize this, then go to program blocks and then main. So now I will insert I will insert a normally open contact a normally open contact for switch one and then a coil and then I will open the branch and then one more coil. So this will be switch one, this will be motor one and this will be sorry this will be switch one, switch one and it will be motor one and then it will be motor the coil for this motor 2 will be a set coil. So I'll click here, then select S from this drop down list and then enter. And then I will use network 2 for motor 3 and motor 4. And there will be, of course, one more normally open contact for switch 3 and a coil for motor 3 and then open branch. To add one more coil for motor 4. So this normally open contact, this normally open contact will be for switch 2. So I will select, I will select switch 2, enter and then it will be motor 3 and then it will be motor 4. So for motor 4, I will choose S from the drop drop down list because when switch 2 is turned on, then turned off, motor 4 still remains on. So here, when switch 1 is turned on, motor 1 and motor 2 gets on and when switch 1 is turned off, motor 1 is turned off but motor 2 still remains on because of the set coil we have used. And then when switch 2 is turned on, Motor 3 gets on, motor 4 gets on, but when switch 2 is turned off, motor 3 gets off, but because of the set coil, motor 4 still remains on. 
So let's go to the simulation part. I will start simulator. Okay. Then we have to wait for some time. It's compiling the configuration, the program, and then I have to load it to the simulator, to the controller, and then finish. And after that, I need to start CPU, okay, and then turn on the monitoring. After that, I will switch to project view by clicking on this option, and then we have to wait again. So let's create a new project in PLC simulation. New, create, and let's wait again. So go to simulation table and then simulation table 1. Then I will right click here and then load project tax. So all these motors and switches are here. So now we will start the simulation. So when I turn on switch 1, Motor 1 and Motor 2 gets on. As you can see here, Switch 1 is on, Motor 1, Motor 2 are on. You can also see here, when Switch 1 is true, then Motor 1 and Motor 2 both are on. And when I turn it off, Motor 1 is uh, off, but Motor 3, Motor 2 still remains on. As you can see here, the, red, uh, the green color, due to this set coil, Motor 2 still remains on. And then, when I turn on Switch 2, Motor 3, Motor 4, both gets on. That is true. Both are true. Motor 3, Motor 4, both are true. And then, when I turn it off, then Motor 3 gets off, but Motor 4 still remains on. It is due to this set coil that when switch 2 is turned off, Motor 4 still remains on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.